good afternoon. This is George Adventure here. Uh, I'm going to do a two-part video today. I'm going to do one on a new knife I just got. and I'm going to tell you why I like it, why I wanted it, the difference in the prices I found online, uh, and some other goods I, come, I came up with, and I'm going to actually have on my Etsy shop. Pretty cool thing. They're not for everybody, of course, but, you know, just try to appeal to a lot of different people. So, I'm going to start off with the the knife I bought. Uh, and this is a, this is a, a Carbon XX Trapper. Love this big shield. It's, it's a pretty shield. Uh, this knife is $10.95. $10.95 uh, steel 1095 carbon steel just like this azula this azula is 1095 great knife great knife now saying that i like i like a carbon knife carbon steel for everyday carry every day uh but i do carry i do carry a stainless steel knife i have a sod buster in my pocket i got a carbon steel sod buster in my pocket today uh but i've got i've got a uh um Zen Kudo, uh, the stainless that I that I carry, and especially especially when I'm in the ocean, I'll put it around my neck when I when I kayak fish in the ocean or I'm in the on the water. But I've always got a knife in my pocket, so and I carry a bench made and it's stainless. I've actually had my bench made in the ocean, but but as far as an everyday carry knife, I I like. I like carbon steel, and this is 10.95. This is called the Carbon X. It's a, it's a. Some people call them big trappers. Uh, it's, it's just a standard trapper. Uh, I think they make this in a mini trapper too. But they got several knives, and you can see it's got this beautiful canvas micarta. And I love, I love bone, but I love micarta. Uh, I like G10 too. I got G10 on this Missoula. I've got my card on my SE3, but uh, I like this color of this. I like the canvas Macarta. I think it, they hit it out of the park with it. I wish they would do a sod buster in this. Uh, but this is 1095, and like I said, it's a full, it's got the spade blade, full size, um, full size trapper. Uh, standard two blade trapper. I call this a, a, a skinning blade. That's what I call it, but that ain't what they call it. But it's actually good. It's actually good for skinning. I mean, you can you can skin some game, and that's where the trappers came from. Was people actually trapping wildlife, and they they clean their clean or skin or gut whatever they did to their animals when they caught them. So, and I've I've actually I've actually cleaned some deer with this one. Now I found this one on a job one day, found it laying in the grass and some somebody took, I don't know what the deal was, but they took and tried to decorate it, I guess. So they kind of messed it up, but you know, that's really the only part of it. But you know, this is a, this is a stag, stag trapper. But anyways, get back to this one. This is a, this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. It's going to be my everyday carry knife. I've got this, and I've got a green micarta trapper that's stainless, a green and black micarta that's stainless. But this being carbon steel, and I'm 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 looking forward to it getting the patina on it, you know, because a, a, a carbon knife gets that nice patina. I'm gonna let it do it naturally. I'm not gonna stick it in an apple or anything. And I've already checked this thing. Make sure the blades are are lined up. They're lined up. Pretty straight pretty straight god we don't want we don't want the blade to be off a little bit you know and uh as long as they're not hitting the liner i'm, I'm good but you know and i didn't find any light shining through the back spring so you can hold it up see if that light's shining through then you got a bad knife some case knives do it this one has a little bit of light you can see but i don't care that's just not a you know, if you're that worried about it, you can take one of these. Just tap it. That's all you got to do. Just tap it down. Just tap it down. But you got these. You got these people on on face on YouTube. 
that get on there and they're all the only thing they do is complain they buy a knife i don't know how many buy they buy a week but they'll buy a knife and they'll complain oh this thing's this and this thing's that it's just all oh, the blades of this and the blades that and the handles this i'm not satisfied with the handle and oh and the sheath and this and that you know and oh the bolsters are this and the blades ain't quite lined up and and they're not perfectly straight and, you know and it's like then why did you buy it you're not going to find anything perfect that a human being makes, trust me, because we're not perfect. So, you know, I get a kick out of those kind of people. I usually don't watch their channel. It takes about one or two times. I'm like, now there's a difference in having a good good review on a knife. If a knife's really got a lot of issues, that, that's different. But to to worry about that, that blade's off a hair, just a hair. It's off of 30 seconds of an inch. And, I can see just a little bit of light on one side right here. Yeah, somebody put it this together. Or the pin is, the pin, I saw a guy the other day, oh, the pin is sticking up a little bit. Well, this pin sticks up. It's supposed to. That's the way this 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 stag was designed. Look at these pins. Perfect, this is a beautiful knife. I love case knives. But if there's something wrong, I had one case knife uh, it was a mid-folding hunter that I did send back to case, but it would not open. That was legit, but I didn't get online and say, oh, this case thing and blah, 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 and the blade ain't straight. So all that nonsense. Anyway, got this today. It's a beautiful knife. I like it. The blades do line up. I like it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to put it in my holster I have upstairs, my little, my little, uh, uh, I got one here. It'll fit in this one too. My little holster. Uh, this one's for sale, by the way. My little holster that I carry my sod buster in. I'm going to carry it in this. I'm going to use this thing. I, I can't wait to see how it patinas. And I love a trapper. And the reason I love a trapper is because they're good for skinning game. Uh, you've got a good all-purpose clip blade here. Got a nice clip blade. Clip blade's not my favorite. I'd really have a spear pointer, something like that. But this is a nice, this is not an extreme clip. It's a nice clip blade. Got a spade blade, which I call it a skinning blade. So if that's what I want to call it, that's fine. Great with this belly that turns up. Great for skinning. And I've skinned game with these things many times. This is what I used to clean my deer with. I clean, I clean deer with a trapper now you can't split bone do stuff like that you have to use a you know bigger knife but i'm looking forward to carrying this thing i can't wait and i will give you an update once it starts turning and i'll give you an update i know it's going to be a great knife this thing is really i mean this thing is really a a well put together it's it's pretty and and i have had some case knives that the fit on them isn't as good as some of the other ones I mean, you can see this one, and this is an older case knife. I think this one's from this one's from the this one's from the late '80s, but it's a great knife, man. It, I keep it down here in my shop to to get the size of the scabbards. But this one, this one has really got a nice finish on it. I mean, everything it just lines up perfect. There's no light. Can't have that light shining through the back spring can't have it but uh you know the blades blades are are fairly straight fairly straight you know i know that's a big deal but so anyway i'm gonna put this thing to work and this isn't gonna go in my knife collection this is gonna go with me uh so big knife great great knife and i can't wait i don't know if y'all can see the Y'all can see the carbon, and then it's got, it's got on this blade, see if you can see it. It's hard to see. See if you can see the, if I can get it right in the light here. I don't know if you can see the 1095 on there. It's on there. It's USA 10254, and that's the, that's the, the knife number, the model number, and then 1095 steel. It's got 1095, and then. The clip blade, of course, has case. It's got case 
XX. It's got mm, four dots. So, can't wait. I'll be carrying this thing tomorrow for sure. It's a beautiful knife, man. I love that. I don't know what color, if it's brown or like an OD green, but you can see the canvas, Micarta. It's, it's just gorgeous. I'm big on the Micarta. So anyway, that's all for the knife today. So second thing I wanted to do is I've, I've came up, I'm always trying to come up with something new in my leather shop. You know, I make I make notebooks um, like this. I make I make the I make the uh, uh, Scout carry knives for Azulas and different knives. I actually I've actually sold several of these. And I sold one to a guy, and he's on YouTube, and I'm not gonna name his name, but. He said his knife didn't fit. Now, it's an Azula 2, and this is an Azula. This is the, the first Azula they came out with, and it's just a standard Azula, not an Azula 2. So the handle's shorter. So I made this one. This is my holster, or my sheath, so I made it for an Azula. So the other one, the other knife I made for the Azula 2, I've sold two this week. I made it a little, I made it a little longer. I made the leather a little bit longer so the knife, because the knife handle was longer, it would be about like this. Of course, he says the knife wouldn't go all the way up in there, and all you got to do is push it a little bit and work with it. Because the knife, when you dye, when you dye leather, for people that don't mess with leather, when you sew it and you dye it, that, that dye makes it tighten up some. It'll tighten up some. So you got to work with the knife, not just, you know, complain. But that, that goes back to the complainers. So anyway, so so I came up with, I don't know how many people out there carry a knife slip or a knife sleeve where you, you take your knife and you put it, you put it uh, in your, in your pocket with your knife in it. And that way it keeps, it keeps your knife from getting scratched just like this one. And this is a knife slip, knife sleeve, knife host, or whatever, whatever people want to say it is. But it just it has no belt loop or anything on it. You just slide it in your pocket, grab it, and pull it out. So this is this is my old casket knife slip, uh, and I've I've made three of them today, experiment, and I've got you know I've got some uh, I've got some uh, these are my templates. I got two sizes. You can see this one's smaller. This one, this was my first one. I kind of just experimented with it. I'm not going to sell this. I'm going to keep this for myself. But this one, I give it to one of my buddies. But this one will fit a a uh, uh, mini copperhead, or it'll fit it'll fit any any mini copperhead. And it'll fit a mini trapper, uh, and it'll fit it'll fit a sodbuster. And this sodbuster's thick. But some of the saw busters have thinner handles, but it'll it'll slide down in there perfect. And you got just enough sticking out to pull it out. So this is something I just came up with, you know, and it's called a it's just called an old old casket, old casket knife shoe, uh slip or sleeve. And I've got, you know, I've got a skull and crossbone stamped on it, uh, a maker's mark, and I've got it where if you ever if you ever looked at old caskets or seen an old casket, an old wooden casket, they were like this, and that's what it looks like. You can see, and I did the I did the wood, carved the wood, the uh, planks in here. Uh, same thing with this one. This one's bigger. This one's for a, a bigger, you know, like a trapper, you know, a full size copperhead, or you can do a you can do a sodbuster. Sodbuster fits in there. So this is the this is the full size. This is the large one. Skull, it's got a skull and crossbone on it. Uh, and I'm gonna put some different things on, do them different, do a different color. I'm probably gonna do a black one. Uh, and then this one, this is the last one I made here. Uh, and they're all burnished. All the sides are burnished. Uh, but this one, you you look you look online at an old these old caskets. And a lot of them had a cross on them like that. Uh, even even Count Choculus, not chocolate, but Count Dracula. But I'm just being funny. 
I, you know, I guess you're allowed to be funny talking about knives. You don't have to be so serious because this knife isn't quite up to par. You can cut up, carry on. But anyway, uh, so back in, I guess, in the days of Count Dracula, his, you see a lot of the horror movies, and there was a cross on, on those caskets. But I actually looked online just kind of to give me an idea. Now, this one, this one doesn't have the wood uh, carving like this one does or like this one does. You know, I'm going to make a few different, but this one has, has a cross, and I took some dye and just dyed the cross. I'm going to get some orange dye and do the same thing, maybe for Halloween or something next year. And then I got an XX on it for all you case lovers like me. And, you know, and then I got to do some plain ones because I want everybody to you know where you carry a GEC or an old-timer, all great knives. Uh, but so this one, this one will fit a sod buster. And this one fits good because, you know, the, the Delrin handles, uh, they're a little thicker. But also, this this big trapper. And I, I'm sticking the, the smaller side down first because of the way the casket's shaped. And it fits in there great. So you can slide this in your pocket. I'm going to ask 20 bucks for these. 20 or 22. I haven't made my mind up yet. But unfortunately, leathers went up. Shipping went from eight bucks to ten bucks. Ridiculous. But I'm trying to keep my prices down because, you know, I try to it ain't always about making a dollar. It's making something that people enjoy, people like, making people happy. So uh anyway, so that's that's my new one of my new items. And I'm thinking about so I'm gonna see how they go over, but I may make one and put a belt loop on it and you can actually carry it on your side. Be a good conversation piece. And I may make one, just call it the old casket sheath. And it, it'll look like this, but may be dyed different. So y'all can tell me what you think. What y'all think. I appreciate you leaving a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, if you think it's a pretty neat idea or am I wasting my time. You know, I think there'll be some people that'll buy them. Because, you know, it's, it's just a just a different just a different item you see. So, anyway, skull and crossbone, cross, XX, and I'm going to do some different things on them. So, anyway, uh, looking forward to carrying this bad boy tomorrow. Can't wait. Uh, so, God bless y'all. Y'all have a great day. Be careful this coming week. Be safe out there, uh, especially with all these crazy drivers. Uh, keep your knife sharp. Old saying, lazy man carries a dull knife. That's true. Learn how to sharpen a knife. If you don't know how to sharpen one, learn how, how to sharpen it. And yeah, if your blades aren't lined up, you can still sharpen it. And if you can see some light through here, you can still sharpen that knife. It's good. So, learn how to sharpen a knife with a stone. If you don't know how, get somebody that knows how to show you. It, it makes for a better edge. Not knocking the quick sharpeners, because I use the quick sharpeners all the time. They're good for a quick, quick sharpen, you know, just a nice little quick deal, you know. But if you get nicks in your blade and stuff, you have to use a stone or a file, sandpaper. So I may do a, I may do a knife sharpening tutorial one of these times. I'll do it with my GoPro. Anyway, God bless you. I appreciate it. if you like my channel. Hit a bell. Leave a comment. Give me the thumbs up if you like if you like my video. And get you a, get you a knife. God bless.